Hi, welcome to TDS Instructional Online Lesson on Advanced Tier. For this series of lessons on Advanced Tier, we will start from the very beginning to model a simple tier structure in 3D to producing the bomb and various types of drawings from the model. Through this series of lessons, you will be able to get started with using Advanced Tier. So, let's get on with the lessons. In this first lesson, we will look at how to place a building grid in our advanced project. Normally, this is the first step of any 3D modeling in advanced tier. When you start advanced tier, you'll be asked to choose the advanced tier content. These are the default content that are found in the various options that you choose. For this case, for metric and uh, UK tier, you may like to choose the international option. In this lesson, we will be creating this building grid in our advanced tier model. To start a new drawing, you will use the advanced tier template that comes with the software. Once we start the drawing, it will be switched to the advanced tier workspace. There are various facilities to create grid. For this uneven grid, we will use grid with groups by distance. We will start by creating grids along the x-axis. We define the length along y-axis at 0, 0 and 19,000 along the y-axis. Next, we define the direction for the spread which is along the x-axis. We start creating in the spacing. The number in the brackets will show the total length so far. We finish with hitting return twice. When we finish, the grid property dialog will appear. We change the grid label to alphabet. We will now continue with grids along the y axis using the same command. Let's take a look at the grid properties. You can see that the grid is grouped into groups of equal spacing. To modify the grid, you can use these properties or the grid. Let's save our project for the next lesson. Thank you for watching. For those who like to try creating the grid themselves, you may pause the video and use this sample. 